to my youtube channel my name is claire fendi and if you're new here welcome make sure you give this video a thumbs up like comment subscribe period in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my updated makeup routine you guys have seen my pictures on twitter i honestly didn't think that picture was going to do that well on twitter like seriously i was tipsy i was literally drunk <laughs> like seriously but you guys thank you guys so much for all the love i try to mimic the same look try to do the same hairstyle so it can just look legit i got new lighting i hope you guys really fuck with this video because i really put a lot of time and a lot of effort in this video okay so this video is going to be a voiceover unfortunately i feel like my makeup come out 10 times better when i'm just focused and just quiet instead of talking it through so if you guys want to see how i get this look keep on watching and i'll see you guys at the end of the video <laughs> okay so we're just gonna jump right in i feel like i was already talking enough i'm going to use my fenty beauty concealer this is in the shade 330 and i'm going to put that all over my lid and blend it all out I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Rose of Fear palette. This is my favorite palette because I love to do a nice, subtle, nude look. That's like my go-to. So I'm going to use the shade Duchess and I'm just going to put that on my outer crease. Next, I'm going to use the shade Prince. This is just to bring a little warmth into my lids so the color can just stand out amazingly. Next, I'm going to use the shade Majesty and I'm also going to put that in the front of the outer crease if that makes sense. Hopefully, you guys can see it. I'm going to go back in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is in the same shade 330 and I'm going to make a semi cut crease, not a complete cut crease where it just from the start to the end, but I'm going to stop at the middle so I can just make that blend effect. So I'm going to use the shade Emperor and I'm just going to put that on the back of the cut crease so it can blend in with the shades that I already had in the outer cut crease. Next I'm going to take the shade Primrose. This is literally my favorite. I'm going to take the shade Imperial and I'm just, I don't know if I'm saying it right, hopefully I am. And I'm just going to put that in the front. I'm going to do my eyelashes and my eyeliner off camera and then I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Primer. You guys, I have the craziest oily skin ever. So this primer is my holy grail. Like it helps me so much. I love it so much. It leaves my face so smooth and it's matte but it still feel hydrated if you guys know what I'm saying. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty foundation. This is in the shade 420. I only use two and a half pump when I'm doing this. I don't like to pack on foundation because I just feel like I don't really need it. But if you guys would like to put more, matter of fact, no, don't put more. Just put two and a half pumps. You should be good, okay? I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Chestnut. This is literally my skin complexion. I use it as a base to smoothen out my foundation. So basically, I use it to cover all the dark marks. Like all my dark circles and anything that's dark on my face that's not even. I just use that to just cover all up. So for the second concealer, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Suede. This is kind of like fawn, but a little bit more brighter if you guys are dark skin, because I usually use fawn. And I'm just going to blend that in. Yeah. 
yes I'm going to use another one okay I'm going to top it off with my Fenty Beauty Concealer this is in a shade 390 and I'm not going to do that much I'm really not I'm just going to put three little lines just to like I feel like three concealers just does the job like I don't know you guys should definitely try it like this is what I do okay I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to use the two darkest shade and I'm just going to put it in my contour lines on my jaw lines and just, you know, yeah. Okay, you guys, this is the most important step, okay? Make sure you take your time while doing this. So, I'm going to use my concealer sticks. Concealer sticks, yes. These are Black Radiance Concealer Sticks, and I have the dark shade and the light shade. And this is what I use to do my nose contour. Your nose contour should be perfect because that's what stands out. Like, you have a perfect nose contour, your whole makeup could be trash, and it will look popping like your makeup your face will be popping sis so i'm just going to contour my nose make sure you guys watch it carefully take your time while you do this because you know yeah you want that nose contour to be snatched okay you want to look like you just got a nose job okay period Okay, you guys, I hope you guys got all that. So, next I'm going to set my powder using the Laura Mercier setting powders. I have both shades, the medium deep and the new shade. It's called Translucent Honey. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them all together and just apply it all over my face. And, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so some people like to dust their setting powder off. I like to pat it in because I just feel like it keeps my concealer intact, you know? So this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so next I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is in the shade Mocha Mommy. Y'all, I did not know how important this was until now. It literally makes my contour pop, y'all. Like, literally. Are y'all seeing this? Next, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio Palette. I used the last two shades because it's the perfect tone. I like to put my blush behind my cheekbones because when I take my pictures, y'all, or like just period, I like my face to pop out instead of being flat. So if you put your blush on your cheeks, it's going to make your face look flat. And we don't want that. We don't want a flat face, do we? I don't think so. I'm going to set my face using the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. This spray is for oily skin. If you guys don't have oily skin, don't use that. Use the alternative, please. And then I'm just going to do my lips. And I use the NYX Butter Lip Gloss. Y'all, y'all already know that lip gloss is bomb. It's Buck, okay this is in the shade 07 okay so I'm just going to do my highlight I'm gonna leave the name link down below in the description box my eyeliner that's from the hair store and then thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i made sure it wasn't too long it wasn't too short it was just right and yeah guys i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.